Hello everybody, I'm Takeshi, and I'm here to react another My Pony video. This time it's a fan made video. I mean, two fan made videos, but uh, the other one will be in another video. I was asked uh, by Johan to react this after the first two episodes of My Pony season 2. It's called Let's Go and Meet the Bronies. It might be about the Brony community, but I don't know anything else. Let's simply start the video. It's by Gen Animations. Brony University? Hey, Daphne! To wonderfully comprehend this pony fascination, let me first sum up the previous of pony generations. Generation 1 appeared on TV in the 80s. It was made to sell toys. Plots were hardly very weighty. And Generation 2, I do not mean to grouse and gripe, but these characters oh, yeah. fell right into the girly stereotypes. And Generation 3 is just too awful and too tragic. So let's Those jump pieces. into number 4, where friendship is magic. All the characters compelling and the stellar storytelling and the lovely animation brought about great dedication. This is where we meet the bronies, where they like my little pony. Yes, the bros enjoy the ponies, so let's go and meet the bronies. So bronies came in as generation, generation 4. And though first a little skeptical, these moderates inquired, and once they finally saw the show, their love for it caught fire. The core of the meetups and conventions that like you see are the social groups that come to BronyCon and ever free. Yes, the moderates and hipsters are the big groups of the bronies. They're the dudes that are the bulk of all the men who like the ponies. Creative bronies are the final bunch you need to know, making music, art, and stories all inspired by the show. While counting down the days from season one to season two, the musicians wrote funky little songs like Pinky's Brew. The pony generators churn out many new OCs, and the artists put their art on Tumblr blogs for all to see. The writers pair their favorites, voicing charming little quips, and although they face some critics, they will go down with their ships. Their talent is their glory, ever growing, never stopping, from the music to the stories and the artwork and the clapping. What? Oh dear. But let's steer away from that one and get right back to the ponies, for creatives are the final bunch in the wacky world of bronies. Creatives, and moderates, and lastly, hipster bronies are the groups that are quite proud to watch the show. My Little Pony! Yeah, Andy. <laughs> hey! Forgetting some pony? It seems her little lessons left the fairer sex neglected. Well, when girls like little ponies, that's very much expected. Even so, you can't ignore these fillies' contributions. We're involved in brony culture, and we demand our inclusion. That's true. We attend all the conventions, create art and music too, discuss the show, talk on forums, everything that these dudes do. No, we're not bros, but we're bronies, though some prefer Pegasus sisters. And we also are creatives. Moderates and even hipsters. Well, there you have it. All the bronies. Any pony <laughs> else I miss? <laughs> now, if it's all the same okay. to you, class dismissed. <laughs> Good job, you know, it, yeah? So, performed by John Delancey and Tara Song. It was a good song. And I learned learn much about the bronies. I don't know what's clapping, but their faces made 
anything that it's something bad and generations before this are just awful maybe at least at least they said it I remember something like that my sister watching one of the previous generations but I didn't uh, really uh, get any sight on that I was just okay she's watching it I'm going out <laughs> it was a long time ago but yeah so there are brownies and pegasisters in the community and they create music Videos like this, fan art, and everything else, stories. <laughs> and yeah, they so between the two seasons, there were a lot of times, time, and they were making videos and stuff like this between them. And the uh, doctor, <laughs> I mean the teacher in the university was this god, or John Delancey. Tarstone has a good singing voice too. Wait, isn't she an excess in My the Pony too? I don't know, I have a look it up. But uh, this is all for this video. I will go on to the next video soon. It will be uploaded after this right. So, not very. See you.